Hello and welcome back to Morsels and Motors. In this video I'm going to give you a little six month review of this, my Volvo XC70. Um, tell you what I've done to it, uh, where it's been and how I'm getting on with it. Whether I like it or not, do I, don't I, who knows? If you recall from the previous video the tyres were absolutely shot so I have fitted it with four brand new Michelin Cross Climate all season tyres so they are perfect for an XC kind of car. Behind the uh, wheels you will see brand new brake discs and pads and also new ABS rings on the front which has cured the ABS fault, they were really badly cracked. The panel on the boot floor, there's a brand new battery because the old one really really didn't want to uh, start the car. And under the bonnet I have done a cam belt change, alternator belt change and here you can see the joy of a new cam belt sticker which is I uh, got the proper Volvo kit so uh, yeah it comes with a sticker which is the main reason I got the Volvo kit to be honest and I have flushed the automatic transmission fluid so it's now got nice new cherry aid coloured transmission fluid obviously another, an oil change and a filter change that has been done one of the other exciting jobs I did was to take off this hose uh, that's part of the I think air intake system for the exhaust gases and uh, cleaned it all out it was absolutely disgusting full of caked with black gunge mm. there is a very small power steering fluid leak uh, but I think it might just have been coming from that uh, join there um, which wasn't terribly tight so I've tightened it up and also tightened that Jubilee clip up as well so I'm hoping that uh, it will now stop leaking I've cleaned it up underneath uh, and I will uh, keep an eye on that I've also repaired the headlight wipers which now work woohoo um, that was a massive job I needed to take off the entire bump, front bumper um, structure I managed to recondition one of my own ones and the other one I had to buy a replacement and also recondition that because it was also failed um, they fail really badly because um, cogs inside seize up obviously when I took the bumper off I broke all of these clips but uh, for £2.99 on eBay um, I've got new ones the car does need a few more little jobs still. Um, I think I need new shock absorbers. I think the car is really quite wallowy and doesn't um, handle terribly well. The suspension lower arm bushings look a bit worn so I think I shall replace those and I have an MOT advisory on drop links so I shall replace both of those as well. The other job I want to do to the car is I want to change the brake fluid but I can't change the brake fluid because the calipers themselves are really rusty and I can't get the bleed nipples undone without risking shearing them off I think. So I think I do also need four new brake calipers for this car uh, which I shall do at some stage. So what's it been like living with this car as a daily driver for six months in 2022? Bearing in mind it is 18 years old, it was made in 2004. Well I have to say it has been absolutely brilliant. Once I'd sorted out all the initial kind of uh, maintenance issues that it really needed, tyres and brakes and battery and that kind of thing, it has been totally faultless. Um, we've done I think about seven or eight thousand miles in it uh, in those six months. Uh, it has been to Italy, France, the Netherlands, Wales several times, uh, Cornwall. It's been all over the place um, and it has taken us there in comfort, style, spaciousness. It's been, yeah, it's been fantastic. It really, really has. I think it's been an absolutely brilliant purchase, I have to say. I was really quite um, unsure about it when I first got it um, because it handled really badly. It doesn't handle brilliantly even now, but initially it was really bad, but the tyres kind of fixed most of those problems. Um, and also the fact that it was quite old um, kind of scared me a little bit. I don't normally worry about the age of cars because I've got quite a lot of old cars but this one because it's quite complicated it's got loads of electric systems and a brain uh, kind of scared me a little bit but actually it has really been very very reliable indeed. Turning to the inside of the car we now no longer have an ABS light which is excellent because uh, I fixed the ABS system. Turning to the centre console I have fitted this phone mount here so that I can put my uh, iPhone there um, to be able to look at Google Maps and that sort of thing. Um, kind of turns it actually more into a modern car because it's got kind of a big touch screen in the middle. Um, the radio itself is is great, um, the quality is fantastic, the speakers are excellent. I have fitted a, a Bluetooth kit for it so let me show you. 
I turn the radio on and change that source to CD changer, that is actually my phone. I can't play music uh, and film at the same time, but um, I can now stream music and Google Maps and everything through the um, full system of the car. And even Next will answer calls and will um, flick songs uh, and back whatever can get backwards and forwards and songs which is great um, i fitted up here a um, microphone for the system so that i can take phone calls and it really is absolutely excellent the sound comes through the speakers um, perfectly and it's as good as any other car kit system uh, that i've had um, i'll put a link on the screen uh, what exactly the system is it bought from amazon it's about 40 pounds and it is faultless do i have any complaints about the car well a couple they're very very minor to be honest the heated seats aren't uh terribly warm uh more modern heated seats like i had in the tiguan before got really hot really quickly and these are a bit sluggish um not quite as efficient but that's an incredibly minor complaint the driving experience itself is also a bit mixed uh great as a long distance cruiser great on rough terrain and that kind of thing but on country roads and lanes um, it really does feel like a bit of a barge. Um, it, it's like an oil tanker going around these corners. Um, every other car I own is much more compliant. I do wonder whether that's the drop links and the shock absorbers. And once I replace all those, it might tighten it down a little bit. But part of me does think that it's the kind of raison d'etre of a XC70, is that it has got that raised ride height, which then compromises uh, the stability around corners. But we'll see, I'll reserve judgment a little bit more on that one. My other criticism is one of space. And even for me, this uh, driver's seat is set in my position. Uh, I'm just about all right if it was me driving in front of me, but if there's a taller person, like my friend was driving it a couple of months ago and I was sitting behind him, it really does kind of make you have to sit like this, which is kind of a bit of a shame compared to something like, as I say again, the Tiguan that I used to have. My other complaints about the car would be the colour. Um, I really wish the paint hadn't faded. Uh, you can see kind of inside the shut lines here, it is green. There is quite a colour difference between where it's been away from fading and where it's faded in the sun. I would love it if it was more green. Um, in some lights it kind of looks kind of a dirty, beigey colour. And that's a bit of a shame. I'd much prefer it to be the minty green that it originally was. The other thing I want to say is that it's really grown on me. I really love that I drive an XC70. Um, there's something about the shape that's kind of iconic. Uh, and when you see another one on the road coming towards you, you do kind of have a little little frisson of like, oh, hello, there's someone else enjoying the same experience that I am. So yeah, ultimately, all extremely positive. So there we are, that is my six month update on this car. Uh, I'm really loving it, I have to say. It is definitely becoming a bit of a friend, part of the family. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna treat it, now that I'm happy with it, uh, and I know it's reliable, I'm gonna treat it to a few more little goodies, so the suspension and that kind of thing, just to improve it. Um, but yeah, it is a terrific little car. I would not, well not little, big car. Um, I would not hesitate in recommending one to any of you. Uh, I've been particularly lucky, I think, with the condition this car's been in and the mileage, but really, I think it will carry on um, and give me decent service for at least a couple more years and a few tens of thousands more miles. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this little update video. Um, it would be lovely if you would subscribe because, I mean, it doesn't do really do anything other than make me feel better. And frankly, if you watch my videos, you must like me a little bit. If you like me, you might want to make me feel better. So just click on that little subscribe button. It would be really nice. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.